How's it going? Drill Sergeant here. Doing a little sledge conditioning today. Thought I'd invite you to uh, stay tuned and check out this video coming up about the uh, homemade uh, Olympic rings. They're courteous of our friend over at RossTraining.com, Ross Animate. Keep training hard, train smart. So what we have going on here today is I've got lots of this one inch PVC pipe around. It was on Ross Animate's blog, RossAnimate.com, and I saw his tutorial for homemade rings. So specifies that you take about 23 and a half inches, one inch, sand up the end of it, take all the burrs off, clean it up, put some duct tape on it, fill the opposite end with sand after it's been cleaned up as well, and when this is completely filled with sand, duct tape this end. Then individually, we're going to take each one of these, put them in the preheated, preheated oven at 350, and then we're going to bake them one at a time for 10 minutes. And when they come out, we're going to use oven mitts because they're going to be freaking hot, but the PVC is going to be very pliable and the sand will help it maintain its tubular shape. And we will bend this around a paint can and we'll almost get a complete circle. And uh, according to Ross, you'll end up with a almost spec gymnastic rings. So, here's my two pieces. Here's my handy cleaning rag to clean up after I've sanded it. Sandpaper and some duct tape. So I'll show you a little bit of this as I go along. So, see you later. So, this is literally taking me a few minutes to do. From cutting them, to taping up the ends, take them over to the uh, sand pile, and what I did was I used this piece of rebar and tamped them down. So I'll duct tape the other end and uh, I'll bake them. See you shortly. I want to make sure that you have the appropriate oven gloves for this because it's going to get very hot. And the other thing I'd like to point out, as was pointed out in the previous uh, demonstrations and examples, is you want to make sure that your, uh, your kitchen or your house is well ventilated as you're baking these PVC uh, homemade rings. I'm using a 6 inch log round. Uh, the demonstration that Ross used, he used a paint can. Either will suffice. Uh, what you're looking for is that that six uh, six inch or so uh, um, diameter of the ring, as per the spec of a uh, real Olympic ring or genuine, what have you. Obviously, when these are cooled enough, I will take off the duct tape on the ends, which has fared very well through the uh, baking process, and uh, get the sand out. That, eh? Pretty cool. <laughs> I'll do a demonstration of these later. I'm going to work on the the second one, and uh, I'll catch you folks in the trees. Thanks. So there we have it. They're not uh, perfectly uh, symmetrical with one another, but uh, probably cost me. Less than ten dollars and uh, maybe a half hour of my time. I'm just gonna uh, take the tape off the ends here, dump out the sand. Gotta get myself uh, some good straps. In Ross's video, he talks about the straps that he uses in the company that he orders from, and uh, I have found that. Uh, Pretty much any tie down strap will work. Now this sand was wet when I put it in here.
there we have it. I'll clean off this uh, a bit for aesthetics, but it's really not important. Um, as long as something works, I really don't give a damn what it looks like. So, one end of the strap will come in here, come through, come out here, attachment points. Same dealio. So, thanks for checking me out today. Stay tuned for uh, part two. We'll be having these hanging up in the trees and we'll be playing with them. Uh, on a side note, spring is in the Chicolton. So, the obstacle course is once again safe to play on and we'll have some videos coming up from that. So, keep training hard, training smart.